for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable Madden 23 coins, hit up my sponsor, A-O-E-A-H. Get your coins, boys, and use code Monty for 3% off. What is going on, YouTube, and welcome back to another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video, boys. Competitive field pass live today. Honestly, an L field pass, but we are going to be going over how to level up the quickest way possible in the competitive field pass. As you guys can see right here, we're getting 92 Graham Gano for free. We also get an 88 plus overall Legends player, which is pretty cool. And then we also get a 90 overall BND Team of the Week Fancy Pack, which is an absolute L. Which, why couldn't it be like at least just not BND? Like, I don't understand, but we're gonna be talking about it. Uh, before we do get into this video, man, smash that like button, subscribe if you are new. If you guys do need coins, hit up my sponsor, AOEAH. Use code Monty at checkout, and let's hop into this video. So, uh, you guys can see, man, free XP from doing this. I mean, you get a bunch of coins, XP, strategy items, much champions, tokens, players, packs. You get literally everything. So, you guys do want to grind this for sure, even though it is a mid competitive pass this week. And in the past, we, we, we've been getting, you know, kind of mid for the last few weeks a month ago i want to say maybe two months ago we got a fire competitive field pass it just doesn't seem to be that way anymore we're only getting mid from here on out but first thing i want you guys to do is head over to these sets and complete both of these 320 cp right off the bat you're gonna want to make sure you do get this done probably one of the most important things is getting these first two things done right away right off the bat get these things done so you guys can see these stats right here um rush for a thousand yards and much champ soul battles are season games record 2500 total offensive yards pass for 30 touchdowns record five interceptions score 24 points in one game so basically guys these are going to be done as you go you don't really need to physically just really focus on this you know you just, this is going to be done as you go so when you're playing your soul battles playing your much champs don't even focus on this guys playing your soul battles this is the first thing i want you guys to do so you can see right here when a solo battles games win two and five win 10 win 25 it just says win does not matter what difficulty but here it says mvp or higher and then it says four six fumbles gain 3500 or just 3000 yards in solo battles game so guys what you're gonna do here play every single solo battle game on mvp or higher until you reach 25 wins once you reach 25 wins you can play them on whatever you want and uh this should be done pretty easily throughout the week boys you probably won't even have to play solo battles next week if you just grind them this week also four six fumbles in solo battles games once you play on rookie this will easily come and same with gaining 3000 yards in solo battles games you're gonna be rushing chewing clock all game so pretty much this right here is just gonna get done as you go um so yeah that's the solo battles aspect of it guys pretty much just play on mvp difficulty first thing you do when you get on mutt play your solo battles games you're gonna want to get that done literally asap after that mutt champion so mutt champions is the key to success here guys if i'm being completely honest i mean you can see here once you get to 10 wins man it just becomes 20 cp every single time you get five wins so really really important you win your mutt champs games and you actually go ahead and play it and my keyword of advice to you guys when you play mutt champions man it's just slow things down you don't want to go out there and try and force things and go crazy and be antsy because it's just not how you're going to win the game this game of mutt next gen mutt is the way to win next gen mutt is to slow things down where back in the day i feel like on current gen you could just go out and go crazy and go wild you didn't really need to be slow now the game is a lot of a slower pace more realistic life game so you're gonna need to just slow things down relax a little bit really pay attention to what plays the other team is running and um, make sure that the guys that are covering the other team's players make sure that they are on the right guys you don't want to have a mismatches out there just make sure you guys are playing the right people make sure you guys are doing the right things and make sure you're really watching what your opponent is actually doing so uh head to head seasons is last but not least like i said guys stats are going to be done as you go a bunch of xp there and then next monday you're also going to get more stats so you're going to want to uh, finish this now get this done while you can playing soul battles and mutt champs will get this done pretty much probably by wednesday if you like finish a lot maybe thursday friday we'll see what happens but 
head-to-head -head seasons, boys. Once you finish Mud Champs, once you finish Solo Battles, this is when you should be playing your head-to-head -head seasons. You don't want to be playing Mud Champs and then switching the head-to-head -head seasons for some reason. I mean, I don't really think people would do that if I'm being completely honest, but just uh, focus on one or the other, and then once you're done with that, go on to the other. I mean, personally, guys, I'd be playing Mud Champs over head-to-head -head seasons. I would not be grinding head-to-head -head seasons until you're finished with Mud Champs. And if you guys did enjoy this video, man, smash the like button. We're not done yet because we actually do have one last part to this video and that is going to be me opening the aka pack in the trading store so let's get it man i'm ready to pull my 89 and be really really mad about it because i only got an 89 but let's see what we get here man hopefully we can get something good hopefully we can get a 93 overall that'd be literally insane 91 overall edger and james and we get our tr our coins back w pull right there edger and james okay 90 plus finally comes in clutch for me going for 170k i will definitely take that if you guys did enjoy this video man smash that like button subscribe if you are new thank you boys for watching peace